Holy smoke is the new cycle that never ends, which is Tesla Motors has come out with some unbelievably big news here today. So we're gonna look at this from Tesla's standpoint. Why does Tesla wanna make a move like this? We're also gonna look at it from China's perspective. Why does China want this to happen? Is it good, is it bad? Who's it good for on both sides? So we're gonna go super in depth. So the news is that Tesla plans China factory that can make 500,000 vehicles a year, okay? This is monstrous news, 500,000 vehicles a year. So let's assume they could do actually 500,000 vehicles per year. Let's assume the average vehicle costs somewhere around $40,000, which is probably on the low side, but we'll just do that number. There will be around $20 billion of revenue per year that they could produce out of this factory, okay, if, if this is a success. And they're talking about getting this done pretty soon. So we're gonna look at all the, the factors behind it. Now you might think this would move Tesla stock in a massive way today, right? Tesla's gonna have a huge day. No, not really actually. Tesla's stock was only up about 1.3%, around $4 per share today. Um, up more than the market certainly, but it wasn't like this was some huge day for Tesla stock. I think part of the reason is Elon Musk actually leaked a little bit of this information back in the shareholder meeting. Um, I don't, I think he kind of did it by accident, but he leaked some of the information at that time. It wasn't all the specifics around it, but uh, I think that's one of the reasons why Tesla did not move up in a big way. Also, I think there's still a lot of bearish talk out there around Tesla stock, so that's probably another reason why Tesla stock did not move up in a big, huge way today. So let's look at some of this behind here, okay guys? Tesla has reached a preliminary agreement with the Shanghai government to build a factory that would rival productions from its lone US assembly plant as Elon Musk takes the biggest step yet to expand overseas. The electric car maker's planned capacity for the factory is 500,000 vehicles a year. The Shanghai government said in a statement, Bloomberg reported earlier that Musk, Tesla's chief executive, would be in the city for an event with the government on Tuesday. The youngest publicly held US automaker is looking to expand its capacity and more efficiently to reach global markets. Tesla's lone car assembly plant is in Fremont, California, California, and the company has a giant battery factory here in Nevada. It's out in Sparks, Nevada, okay? After moving ahead in China, the world's largest market for electric vehicles, Tesla has said it plans to reveal plans to build a big factory in Europe next. Maybe they could announce plans within probably the end of this year. Musk said in May 2016 that he expects Tesla to produce 500,000 vehicles in Fremont by 2018. Obviously, the company has fallen under those numbers, so just because you know, they say, well, we can start doing 500,000 vehicles. Maybe eventually one day they can get there, but just, you know, let's say they get this factory up and running, let's say in 20, late 2020 or early 2021. Doesn't mean that right away necessarily they'll already be hitting 500,000. We know Musk, you know, puts out these big numbers and they don't always meet. So it could take several years for them to get production to those type of numbers. So don't get too excited too soon. Tesla said in a year ago, it was working with the Shanghai government to explore local manufacturing. Since then, production in China has become Become even more crucial. Last week, in response to tariffs imposed by the United States, China increased the import duty on US made cars by 40%, prompting Tesla to raise prices. A plan in China would also reduce shipping costs and could make sourcing components more economical. Tesla has boosted prices of its Model S sedans and Model X crossovers in China by as much as $30,000 after Beijing imposed the additional duties on American. American built autos, putting Tesla vehicles beyond the reach of most consumers in the market. All right, guys, that's a, that's a hefty move there, okay? So Elon Musk, he meets here with the Shanghai mayor, and uh, this is a really exciting moment for two reasons for China. It's almost obvious on why Tesla would want to make a move like this. It works for Tesla in, in a huge way, right? They get to avoid the import duties, which, you know, they've had it raised by $30,000 on Model S and Model X. That puts it out of, you know, most people's brackets. I mean, all, unless you're super rich, like you can't afford a Model S or a Model X, you know, crossover. Like it's just so unrealistic. They're already expensive vehicles. Then you raise a price by $30,000 plus dollars. Unless you're, you know, very, very wealthy in China, you cannot afford one of those cars because we're talking about these are, these are pumping up against $150,000 plus dollars at that point in time. So from, from Tesla's standpoint, if they want to be a mass market producer of vehicles in China, 
Obviously, they, they want to go ahead and be over in China so they can avoid those, those tariffs. And then also on top of that, the shipping costs and sourcing components and, and obviously Chinese labor is much cheaper over there. So it makes perfect sense for Tesla why they'd want to make a move like this, right? But I think the more important thing is kind of why does China want to make a, a move like this? Well, there are two reasons why China would be interested in this. One is going to make electric cars more affordable. We know Tesla has massive demand. Uh, a ton of Chinese consumers want Teslas. I mean, the Tesla's revenue in China or like well over doubled last year so tons of Chinese consumers want Tesla's and China has an initiative to expand production of electric cars in their country okay so making it more affordable makes sense okay so definitely from China's standpoint that's a big part of it also a big Chinese company one of the darlings of China one of the biggest Chinese companies out there has an actual ownership stake in Tesla okay they bought over 5% of Tesla shares last year all right we're talking about two billion dollars worth of Tesla shares this company owns, all right? And there's also some talk about Alibaba may be interested in buying an ownership stake in Tesla as well as Baidu. So as of right now, one of China's darlings, Tencent, already has a big ownership stake in Tesla. So definitely the Chinese government is in a position where they there's many reasons why they want Tesla to succeed other than just, you know, trying to mass produce. Now, there could still be the, the, the worry out there about, you know, could the Chinese government, or not directly the Chinese government, but basically Chinese companies steal some of the IP and whatnot behind Tesla and go ahead and you know produce their own cars that's still a bigger possibility when you are over in China and you actually have a factory over there and whatnot and everything's easier to get to your suppliers are easy to get to all that type of stuff that could certainly still be a worry but I would say it's less of a worry when I think about it from the perspective of this isn't a joint venture so this is a, a Tesla factory that's just for Tesla okay it's not like they're doing a partnership with somebody. And then when I think about it from the perspective of, you know, uh, the darling of China has a huge ownership stake in this company. And really China is going to want them to succeed because they, they want to push electric cars more than gasoline cars. We know pollution is already insane in China. The last thing they want is, a, you know, uh, a billion, uh, you know, <laughs> diesel cars out there, a billion gasoline run cars. They don't want something like that. Pollution's already bad enough. So it definitely makes sense. I think it's a great move for, for China. I think it's a great move for Tesla. It should be interesting to see how it all plays out. I believe Tesla will probably have to, you know, it sounds like they're going to end up going the debt route and basically raising debt to go ahead and build that factory. It should be much cheaper to build it over there in China than it would be to, you know, build something on this scale in America. Let's put it that way because obviously the, the workers make much less over in China. So uh, it's going to be really fun to see how this all plays out. I would love to hear from you guys in that comment section how you think it's going to play out. Do you think this is a great move for Tesla? Bad move for Tesla? Great move for China? bad move for China. I would love to hear your guys' opinion down there in that comment section as always. Links to all my stuff is down there in the description, my, my Instagram account, Snapchat, all that type of stuff. Any premium courses you want to check out, all that is linked down there in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.